They thought they could get away with stealing a utility trailer until they met a neighbor with a gun who wasn't afraid to use it. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes spoke with him this afternoon, and he explains why he stepped in to protect someone else's property. First, I saw the guy walk down the driveway. This brave man asked that we protect his identity, in part because of what he did to protect someone else's property. It's what a neighbor's supposed to do. It was Friday morning on Netherlands Drive in Hermitage when he says he saw a pickup truck pull into his neighbor's driveway. He didn't think much of it until he saw a group of thieves get to work. But when the bolt cutters came out, I knew what was going on. It wasn't just someone working. James, as he'd like to be called, says they cut the lock to a utility trailer that was parked in front of this shed. They were getting ready to steal it, but that's when James got in his truck, drove to his neighbor's house, and blocked them in. I think his intention was to get out by any means necessary. If it wasn't for me being so close to him, he could have gone between me and the fence and through the yard to get out. With nowhere to go, James pulled out his gun and tried to detain them all, but he was outnumbered. One coming from this way, one coming, there's no way to watch all of them and protect myself at the same time. He says a man and a woman took off running behind the shed even after he fired a warning shot in the air. The driver, 40-year-old Marty Harris, stayed behind. James had him at gunpoint and told him, You need to be still, keep your hands where I can see them, and just stay until the police come. Police showed up and arrested Harris, who later admitted they were stealing the trailer to support a heroin habit. James says he doesn't regret protecting his neighbor's stuff and would do it again. You'd be surprised how many people are just out there to take if they can. No one really knows if the thieves targeted this specific neighborhood. James thinks that it's possible they were just driving by. I spoke with Metro Police this afternoon. They tell me they've yet to find the other two suspects. If you have any information, give them a call. In Hermitage, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5. Metro Police say if you prefer not to get involved in an incident, you can always write down any descriptions or tag numbers. The quicker you provide them to officers, the faster they can make an arrest.